Well, did everybody have a good New Year's? Personally, I spent New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, and most of Monday, which is the observed holiday for New Year's, up in the shop working on this set of fireplace tools that I was sure I was going to get done on Monday. But unfortunately, I ran the torch out of oxygen, so that put an end to the work on Monday. Of course, the spare tank is also empty. So now it's off to town to get these things filled up. Tuesday we had another obligation so I didn't get any work done then. Today's Wednesday finally got in, got the oxygen cylinders replaced, managed to upgrade my little cylinder to another big cylinder so now I got two big ones and I won't have to replace them quite so often. It's been years since I've had to buy oxygen. Don't use the torch that much. But anyways I'm ready to get back to work on that project here in the shop but it's about 2.30 in the afternoon, the sun is already starting to leave the shop, and it gets kind of chilly up here in the shop at that point, and I don't think I'm going to try and heat it up just to work for another hour or two today. So hopefully I get back to that project first thing tomorrow morning and still get that video up before Sunday. No, I don't really go in for the whole New Year's resolution thing too much, but I think it is good to make some goals every now and then. And a few years ago, I set out with the goal of just getting out and walking more trying to get some more exercise instead of spending all my time either in the shop or in front of the computer. And that's one I've actually stuck with pretty good. I don't get out every day, but I get out most days. And before the sun sets completely, I think I'm gonna get out and see if I can walk for about a half hour. This little room was supposed to be a basement bathroom, but really it's been more of a storeroom the whole time we've lived here. Janet refers to it as Fibber McGee's closet. And I've been thinking about a video yesterday when I started cleaning this room out. I would have showed you just how much junk was really in here. There was a dresser we were using to store leatherworking tools. There was a little bookcase with some books Janet wanted to get to. But you couldn't get to any of that because there was so much other junk in this room, most of which is now piled up in the wood shop, waiting to be gone through, reorganized, and some of it will come back in here. Now, as I look at making more axes, adzes, tools, things like that in the blacksmith shop, I'm also interested in doing some leather work to make sheaths and edge protectors for some of those tools I'm going to be making. And I think this will be a great little room just to do some of that leather work in. And in the interest of being better organized, we made a trip to Home Depot yesterday. 
And we picked up this little rolling storage unit with a lot of drawers in it, and I'm hoping this will organize almost everything that I want to put back in that room, and I can find somewhere else to put the stuff that I don't want to put back. Unfortunately, this thing weighs about 300 pounds, and it's got to go down a set of stairs, so my first task this morning is going to be seeing if I can find a little bit of help. And what better place to start than the local coffee shop? So let's go in and see if we can find some suckers. I mean, volunteers. actually fits. I did measure before we bought it. I think it'll be dark before I'm done with that project, so I'm going to take a little break, go out and have a walk. Well, this stuff is slowly finding a new home and it's starting to look a lot better. And if you were curious, this project did get finished the other day, along with some extra tools. But if you're watching the blacksmithing channel, you probably knew that already because that video is already live. Well, I can kind of find my workbench out in the wood shop again, so I think this job is pretty well done. Still a few more things to find places for that used to be part of the heap that was in this room, and now needs to find somewhere else because it no longer is welcome in the leatherworking room, or mostly leatherworking room. It'll get, you, it'll get used for some other stuff as well. Now this room is only about 68 inches deep from the wall. The camera's actually in the doorway, so it's less than an arm span that way, and just a little bit more this way, so maybe 74 inches wide, something like that. So it's not a very big room. But I have a 22 by 61 long work surface on this rolling cart. It's swallowed up all the tools, all the leather, and pretty much everything is now right here. So this will be really convenient to work on, and hopefully I can start including sheaths or what they call a mask with all my axes and adzes, so it helps protect the cutting edges. I missed one drawer. There's a, there's a drawer full of tools. All this heavy dark leather is something that another blacksmith gave me once. It was left over from who knows what manufacturing process. Somebody was making something and all these scraps are almost identical. Then there's all the stuff that I've had around here for years. Some vegetable tan and some deer skin, things like that are down in there. I don't think anybody's going to be mistaking this room for a bathroom at this point. Definitely looks like a little workspace. Still sounds pretty echoey, so I don't know how the audio's been for this. Hopefully you can understand most of what I've been saying. That's just kind of the way it's gone for about the last week around here, between having to go get oxygen bottles, which was not something I had planned to do this week, and then this coming up, which I really did not plan. It's something I've thought about before but had no intention on tackling it this week. Just one thing led to another, and it seemed like it was the right time to do it. 
So I hope you like this multi-part vlog. Let me know down in the comments section if you'd like to see more like this, or if you just want to keep them to one topic. The oxygen bottles could have been one topic, and this project could have been one topic, and the little fillers here and there maybe would have fit in, maybe wouldn't. Who knows? But anyways, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you for the next video.